Is Antarctica really full of ice or are they just lying again? What if I told you that there are ships currently sailing through Antarctica? Let's investigate. Who are they? Bloody hell, my beard needs a trim. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Playing a Blinder with me, the Creaky Blinder. And today, I'm very excited. I am absolutely throbbing with gratitude and would like to welcome all my new subscribers. Now, if it is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications because today we're going to be having a look at channel favourite, Barney, Barnabas Nagy, Nagy, Barnabas. So let's do that. I received the lead from Oleg just yesterday to look into the marine traffic map and indeed this is outstanding. I mean, look at this. Antarctica and there are ships within the ice. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, can you? You mean ships like this, Barney? Or maybe even like this? That's the funny thing, see? When something's true, you don't need to make this stuff up. Look at that. Not just one, but several ships within the ice. So, they are telling us that this is Antarctica. Bullshit. Unspecified ship. Right, so let's have a look at some other one. AAA. A? What is this? AAA. A? AAA. 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 A? A? So not B then. We have almost no details here. That's pretty true, Barney, but I think we've established that this ship definitely isn't called B. <laughs> Gross tonnage. Nothing. Dead weight, nothing. Year built, nothing. We don't know anything about it. We only know that it is active and it's within the ice. What do you mean I look different? No, I definitely have not left recording this video to get my beard trimmed. Right? No pictures. No vessel timeline. Nothing. General. Companies using it, owner, manager, nothing, no information, build. So to anybody who's seen me make a video about Barnabas Nagy before, he sees conspiracy in everything. As he stopped for one second to consider that the reason there's no information about what this ship is doing is because maybe it's confidential. <laughs> so let's have a look at some more. Uh, no, let's not. By the way, this is bullshit. There's no f curvature on flat earth. <laughs> There we are. Well done, Barney. There's no curvature on flat earth. And why is that, I hear you ask? It's because there is no flat earth. All of this is CGI. They designed this shit. There are even interviews with people who designed this. CGI? Such an original argument from a flat earther. My ghast has never been so flabbered. Honestly, Barney, you're... You're a moron, like every other flat earther. I can only assume that when he says there are interviews with people, he means the very famous clip, it's CGI because it has to be. But flat earthers don't understand what he's saying. It's this clip. It is photoshopped, but it's, it's, has to be. Okay, it is photoshopped because it has to be, but you get the point. The problem is with these flat earth morons, because that's what they are, they are complete and utter morons. They've got no comprehension of what CGI is. They just tie the three initial CGI to fake, but it doesn't necessarily mean fake. For example, if you take a panoramic photo using your smartphone, that technically is CGI because your phone's software stitches the images together to give you one panoramic image. That's CGI. Does that mean that that photo is fake? Of course it doesn't. And the assholes are telling it clearly that this is CGI. They are telling us that these are artist illustrations. They don't have a photo about the curvature because it is none. And it is non-existent. There are no satellites, you know? It's just madness. Well, yes. It is madness. It's complete madness that somebody like you, Barnabas, somebody that makes their living using the internet, says that satellites don't exist, when satellites are an integral part of how the internet works. Actually, satellite-based internet service is 10 times faster than regular cable internet service. 
So how can somebody like you possibly claim that satellites don't exist? Of course. It's because you're an idiot. It's ridiculous. So I'm sure you guessed it by now. This Antarctica map is fake. You know, there's no fucking way fishing vehicle. <laughs> now, I will be the first to admit that sometimes my attention has got a habit of wondering. But could you repeat that please, Barney? Fishing what? Vehicle. Vehicles? Vehicle. Ah, right, I see what you're saying now. <laughs> Vehicles. <laughs> it must be horrible to have an accent that people can't understand. <laughs> and just for all the newcomers, do I need to explain that humour? Self-deprecation? Making fun of his accent? Because I've not got an accent, obviously. <laughs> And of course we have these maps like the 1587 Urbano Monte Composite map and we can see that Antarctica is fully populated. Right, so a map from 1587 is absolute concrete proof that Antarctica was populated by animals of varying species. This Antarctica map is fake. But a current day map showing ice ships is fake. Okay. There's wildlife on it, you know, you can see animals, you can see kings there, there's a king, there are birds, okay, monkeys, rabbits, whatnot, everything you want is on Antarctica. There is no fucking ice on this. Now again, this is only my opinion, obviously. 1587, this map was hand-drawn, so in 1587, people didn't have the capabilities to travel as freely as we do today, so... I'm going to hazard a guess and say that whoever drew this map probably illustrated what he thought may have been there. So it's definitely not proof. There are also centers on Antarctica, jumping animals, flying animals, mermaids, mermans, more centers, lizards, hunting animals, lions, mermaids. The gay merman. Hmm, interesting. Barnabas. So there were mermaids, mermen, and gay mermen. How do you know they were gay? And what difference would it make anyway? You do realize that mermaids are another mythical creature, don't you? But I digress. Please continue. Elephants. We have people as well. Again, some more mermaids and mermen. Some more people here on the land. The monkey with the boobs. Boobs? Some more naked people on islands. You know, it's, it's fully populated. At least it was back then, you know, in um, 1587. So just to clarify then, Barnabas, all the photos that NASA provide us and the various other space agencies of the world, they are all absolutely 100% fake and cannot be trusted. And they are all composed using CGI techniques. But a hand-drawn map from 1587 with pictures of animals on what you believe to be Antarctica is perfectly acceptable as evidence and must be trusted 100%. I-587, 1000 years added just because of the fake Jesus. Well, well, well. A flat earther that doesn't believe in Jesus. I am shocked, to say the least. I have never heard my pal Barney say this before. But it does make me wonder, not about Jesus, because I couldn't give a monkey's chuff, but what it makes me wonder is if Barney ever watches his own videos back and realises just how ridiculous some of the things, correction, all of the things he says are. Mermen, gay mermen, mermaids, monkeys with boobs. Just watch your videos back, Barney, for the love of... Sanity. <laughs> what else is not fake on this earth? We also have the Piri Reese map from 1513, which is again I-513 because of the fake Jesus. And again, Antarctica is populated here. We have wildlife, you know, ships going there, no ice, no ice whatsoever. Perhaps they drew this map in the summer when all the ice was melted. <laughs> Don't worry, I know. <laughs> Carry on, Barney. And yet, they are showing us this shit, full of ice, and yet, there are ships going through the ice. Unbelievable. It's not unbelievable, Barnabas. It's just engineering. 
lock. The wider, shallow bow allowed a ship to slide up the edge of the ice before gravity forced it down on top. The ship's weight produced a huge shearing force and reduced the ice's resistance. No, being a parent, obviously, I'm used to having to explain things to people. But I never thought I would have to explain something this easy to find out to a grown man like you. Ba, 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 <laughs> well, obviously, they don't want us to go to Antarctica because that's the way outside of this realm. And anyway, why would anybody in their right mind want to go to Antarctica, Barnabas? I bet they haven't even got a McDonald's. And it looks bloody freezing. If there is any physical way out of this shit, then it's probably through Antarctica. That's the edge of the flat earth. <laughs> Let's assume for a second then that the earth is flat. <laughs> are you a lemming? What, why are you looking to escape? Because you think space is fake. You also think the earth is flat. You now seem to think that Antarctica is there to stop you escaping from your flat earth. So where exactly is it you're going? The asylum. Ah, sorry I asked now. <laughs> but as far as I know, there is a military awaiting you if you are trying to go close to the edge. What if this whole thing is just fake? You know, they went to somewhere where it is cold in Siberia, took some photographs and that's it. Psychologically training us that it's all the penguins. I knew the penguins would be involved. They just look so suspicious. Their stupid little waddle and their flappy arms. I bet they even take selfies. Penguin mind control. That's what the problem is. <laughs> so those ships that we had a look, they are traveling through this ice. Give me a break. You made a funny Barney. Give me a break. Because the ships are designed to actually rise up and break the ice. You're a funny guy. The ceremonial South Pole, obviously they have to mock us again, showing here the dome and a globe. Okay, now look at this. Red fluid pours out of blood falls at Taylor Glacier. And they say the color derives from iron oxides. Really? What if this is actually really blood and they do some sacrifice there? It's those penguins again. I'm telling you now, they're evil. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but this doesn't look like Iron Oxide for me. Here's the Game of Thrones fandom page. And this is the wall. Winter is coming. Which is symbolizing the edge, the Antarctic wall. But I wonder whether that is actually there. You know, like, this is what they are telling us, that there's a wall and it is full of ice. But perhaps there's nothing there. Or there's a land with full of wildlife, just like on these old maps. Well, yeah, obviously there's a possibility it's really there. Because there's absolutely no way the Game of Thrones is 100% made up, is there? <laughs> Next thing, you're going to mention the Truman Show. I can feel it in my bones. And of course, the classic Truman Show, where Truman goes to the edge of his prison and then leaves the system. Now, obviously, Barney Bush isn't the first flat earther to use the Truman Show as an example of why the flat earth must be real. I actually made a video about it, and I'll put a card to it up there, if I remember. you got a 50-50 chance. And that video was made by ODD. So... Yeah, again, this is nothing new. Come on, Barney. You're letting your side down. We want new flat earth proof. <laughs> but in this case, he is not going to anywhere cold. There is no ice wall. The wall is actually painted paper. They are trying to confuse us for sure. We don't know whether there is ice on Antarctica. Based on what we've seen on the maritime map, there is no ice. But, you know, they are fearmongering us every time. We are trying to do something. So if you wanted to go to Antarctica, you can be sure that um, they will do any kind of tricks just so that you don't go there. Just as they did for Truman. They were trying to stop him. You know, do you think that they wouldn't do the same for you? And that's it for me for today. No, Barney, please don't go. I was just starting to get into the swing of it. Well, have you got anything to say in closing at least? Don't leave me hanging. And finally, don't go to the edge because you're going to fall. See you in the next one. Wise words there, Barney. Wise words indeed. Well, I don't know about you, but I am completely Barneyed out for one day. If it's first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and even consider giving the video a like. 
If you're one of my new subscribers that came over from seeing me on the Simon Dan channel, I'd like to welcome you and I look forward to getting to know you all down in the comments. I'm the Creaky Blinder and I will see you all next time. Take care guys. Bye bye.